okay guys in this video we want to create our recipes card and this grid here but before that in our terminal we again have some errors so we have some css related error it is telling us we should use flex end instead of just ends so here let's just try to find where we are using end so let me just control f and type end and it's and here instead of saying end we have to say flex end so flex dash end like so save and now the warning is gone but everything else is working the same so as you can see nothing else have been changed and another thing i want to do is go to our recipes here so uh, what i want to do is cut all of this so control x and i want to create a separate component for this so i'm going to control x and inside our components folder i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it previous searches dot js and here we are going to say export default function the name will be previous searches so previous searches like so and then here we are going to return the html we just copied so control v and we can fix the indentation like so but we have to import the font awesome in that component not here so control x and we are going to import them here so let me paste them here like so and save and in our recipes we are simply going to say import and we're going to import previous searches so previous searches from components forward slash previous searches like so so we can use it here so here we're simply going to have to say previous searches like so save and it looks like we have some error okay our searches also have to be in that component so control x and let's say we are going to paste it here Control V save and everything was the same so now we can start working on our recipes cart finally so here so let's create a div here so we're going to create a div and let's give it a class name so we're going to say class name equals to let's say recipes container so inside the container we're going to have a recipe card so for the card again we're going to create a separate component so let me just close this close this for now so we don't need them so we can close them for now okay so now let's go to components create a new file and let's call it recipe card .js like so and here we can again say export default function so export default function and the name will be recipe card let's say return and we're going to return a div the class name will be recipe card like so let's close the div so for slash div for now let's say hello like so let's go to our recipes.js and import our recipe card so let's say import recipe card from components for slash recipe card and let's try to use it so let's say for recipe card like so save and here we have this card here so let's copy it a few more times so one two three four five six for now save and here are they so let me just copy this so recipes container and we want to create a responsive grid like so as you can see this one is responsive grid the number of card changes depending on the screen size so for that we are going to give our recipe container a display of grid and we are going to use the min max function so we're going to say dot recipes container okay but before that just like always we want to clear them so let's cut this in the partials we're going to create a new file let's call it let's say previous searches dot scss paste it like so and let me just delete the first line like so save close and then import it so we're going to set import and when you import partials for slash previous searches like so save let's click on refresh to see if everything is still working so yeah it looks like everything is still working so now our recipes container can have a display of grid actually before that in our recipe card so let me just copy this recipe card control c go here paste it let's paste it here control v Let's just give it a background color of red so we can see it better so we're going to say background color of red like so so now they have this red color 
okay so recipes container will have a display of grid so we can say display grid like so now this on its own won't do anything so we're going to say grid template column so grid template column we're going to say repeat and again we're going to use the auto fit function and then we're going to use the min max and let's say the minimum width will be 220 pixel and the maximum width will be 1 half hour so if you were to save it actually let's give it a gap also so we're going to say grid gap and the gap can be let's say 1.5 bm like so so now we have this gap let's click on refresh and right now we have this two column layout but if we were to change make our screen bigger as you can see now we have this three column and if our screen is very small then we have this one column layout so it is fully responsive okay so now we can start creating this card here so for the card first thing we are going to need is this image here so for the image if you remember we have created a custom image component so this is the custom image component that we created in our previous video we are going to use this component here so our component just need a image source and a padding top so as props so let's use them so in our recipe card here we are going to say import and when you import custom image so we are going to say custom image from dot for slash custom image and let's try to use it so we are going to say custom image like so and it needs this image source and it needs the padding top so let me just delete this we don't need this source here so for the image source for now let's just use the image from this public folder so public image gallery so we are going to say forward slash img forward slash gallery forward slash let's say img underscore one dot jpg save and let's see if it's working so here are the, this is working so let's say this will have a padding top of 65 pixel 65 percent sorry so this will be the ratio like so and this is how they look like okay so our recipe card needs some border radius so let's do that so let's go to our index.scsl let's go to our recipe card let me delete the background first we don't need it so we're going to say border radius and the border radius can be let's say 10 pixel like so and still the images are not rounded so we're also going to have to say overflow to hidden so we're going to say overflow hidden like so so now they're like so let's see if 10 pixel is too much actually yeah we should use 5 pixel so 5 and this is much better we also need some box shadow so we're going to say box shadow so the box shadow can be let's say 0 for the x-axis 5 pixel for the y-axis 10 10 pixel for the blur and the color can be our shadow colors save and now we have the shadow let's try 15 I think it should be good enough okay so after the custom image we are going to have another div so let's create a div let's give it a class name of recipe card info let's close the div so for slash div like so and let's see what we need to have inside that so first we are going to have an image so let's have a image here so we are going to have img and the source and the source will be let's say img forward slash and then we are going to say top shapes so we are going to get an image from our top shape which is this folder here so we are going to say top shapes and then we can simply say img underscore one so img underscore one dot jpg save and now we have these images but they are way too big so when we need to style them so so let's give our image a class so we're going to say class name equals to let's say author dash image img for image so let me copy this control c let's go to our index.scss and here we can paste it control v and let's say this one will have a height of let's say 100 pixel so 100 pixel and the width will also be 100 pixel and we don't need the object fit cover we have globally set it so save and this is how much this is so this is way too big so we need to make it smaller so let's see so let's try 60 let's see if 60 is closer and I think 60 would be good okay before that let's go to our recipe let's go to our recipe card and let's target this so recipe card info control C let's go here and we're going to paste it here so dot control V and this needs some padding so we're going to say padding of let's say let's try 15 pixel so 15 pixel like so and let's see 
and I think 15 pixels should be good for now we can change it later if needed so our image will have a border radius of 50% so it will be a circle we are also going to add some borders so we are going to say border of and again we can copy this copy the borders from here so we are going to click on inspect and this is the border so this is the border color so we can copy this control C actually let's copy this box shadow also we need both of them so save control C and we can paste it here control V fix the indentation like so save and this is how they look like so we want our image to be let's say half on this image so how we can do that so for that we are simply going to use some negative margin so we can use a margin top so if we were to say negative 10 pixel you'll notice if I save it it goes up just a little so if I make it 10 it goes up a little so we have to play with this value until the image overlaps on this image so let's try 50 negative 50 and before we do anything let's say our image will have a z index so let's say z index of 2 and our image so we're going to have a custom image inside this recipe info so let's target that so we're going to say dot custom image so custom image is basically this image so this will have a z index so z dash index of negative 1 so now the image here is overlapping over this image like so and this is looking pretty good so after that we'll have this paragraph with with the text so let me just copy this control c let's go to our recipe card so after the image we're going to have a paragraph text paste it and let's give the class name and the class name can be let's say recipe dash title once again let's just copy the class so control c and we're going to go to our index.scss and let's just paste it here so dot control v recipe title let's give it a font size of let's say 1.25 bm is good enough or not let me close this click on refresh okay we have to save this so control s so this is how much it is so and i think 1.25 bm is pretty close okay so let's go to our index.scss and we're also going to have to say this one will have a color and the color will be our text color so we're going to say var and we're going to say dash dash text dash color save it and this looks the same let's also try to add a little bit of margin on the top so we're going to say margin top of let's try 0.25 bm and i think 0.25 bm is good so after that we'll have a little bit of description here so recipe description so let's go to our recipe card so here again we're going to have another paragraph text let's give it a class name of recipe that's dasc disk for description so let's copy this text here so control c and paste it control v and let's copy the class let's go to our index.scss and let's paste it so dot control v so first of all this one have a this one will have a color of var dash dash text dash light so dash dash text dash light like so and let's try to reduce the font size actually let's see yeah let's try to make reduce the font size so we're going to say font size of 0.9 em so just a bit smaller and we also want a letter spacing so we're going to say letter spacing to let's say one pixel and finally we'll have this view recipe button so let's create that so after the paragraph text so I'm simply going to use a simple a tag so you could use a button or whatever you want so I'm, I'm just using an a tag so it will be hashtag exclamation mark so a dummy dummy link basically so it will save view recipe like so save and here it is so let's style it so let's give it a class name so the class name can be let's say view dash button like so let's copy this control c go to index.scss and here we are going to paste it so control v and then we are also going to say the view button will have a font size of let's try 1.5 em so 1.5 em and no 1.5 em is way too much so let's say 1.25 em um, let's just keep 1 em and we are going to say the font weight will be bold the color will be our primary color and it will have some margin on the top so we're going to say margin top 
of 0.5 em and in order for this to work we are going to have to say display of inline block so now we have this margin so let's try to increase it to let's say 0.75 and yeah i think this is looking pretty similar to what we have in our finished project okay now all of our card have the same info but we don't want that so we are going to pass these infos as props so in our recipes we are going to create an array let me just paste the array i already have to save your time okay so i have pasted the code so here we simply have an array with some objects so each of our object has a title a image which is simply an image from our top shapes folder and then an author image which is an image from here after that so and we have a lot of objects here some some are duplicates and after that at the end you'll see we have this line of code so this is simply shuffling our array so for example this object can be here this object can be here so randomizing the array basically you can just delete this line if you want it so i am just keeping it to shuffle our array so now instead of having this many recipe card let me just comment this out and here we are simply going to say our recipes dot map so for each of them we are going to get a recipe and our index and here we are going to return our recipe card and here we are going to say key will be our index and then we want to pass recipe as a prop so we are going to say recipe equals to recipe like so so let me just copy this control c and if we are to save it and now the number of cards correspond to the number of elements in this array so let me just go to our card recipe card and here we are going to now receive our recipe as a prop so control v recipe so now instead of saying the image source like so we are going to say recipe dot img i think this is what it called actually let's go to our recipes dot scss okay it is called image not img so i m a g e like so and then instead of saying this we are going to say recipe dot let's see what we called it author image so copy this and here we are simply going to say recipe dot author image and finally we have recipe dot title so let's cut this and here we are going to say recipe dot title and now everything has different values and if i were to refresh as you can see now this one is pizza if I refresh now this one is separate so they are being randomized so that is what the last line here so here this sort function is doing randomizing our array okay let's try to resize our screen let's see if everything is responsive or not so yeah it looks like everything is responsive and good so that's all for this video in the next video we are going to start creating the interesting part which is the settings page we'll first create this layout and then make everything functional so if we click on this the theme should change to dark if we click on this the primary color should change we can make the font size smaller larger animation slow fast etc so i'll see you in the next video